Yam Stap also got fired. Yeah, Yap Stam. Yam Stap. How did I? <laughs> you said Yam Stap. Yeah. Yap, yeah. Stop. What is going on with my brain today, dude? <laughs> okay. Uh, Major League Soccer. Let's get to it. Uh, Charlotte FC. They fire their coach today. Their uh, their team is actually doing pretty well. Uh, for any any Brits in the chat right now, uh, uh, Christian Fuchs, remember from Leicester City, uh, a Premier League champion, Leicester City. Christian Fuchs plays for this team. Uh, he was he was a, he was literally going to retire, and they were like, and then Charlotte was like, "Yo, you want to play?" And he was like, "You know what?" I'm not gonna retire anymore. I feel <laughs> I, there was something about <laughs> something about this big pile of money laid in front <laughs> yeah. of me that somehow changed my mind. Ooh, so <laughs> I, by virtue of playing a game I played my whole life at twenty percent of my ability, <laughs> allows me to move that money from your side of the table to mine. I'm gonna do that. Uh, but no, uh, Miguel Angel Ramirez, uh, you see it there, will not continue as head coach of Charlotte FC. This is uh, 14 games. Uh, he has 16 points. Uh, I think there he's about one or two uh, uh, playoff position uh, uh, spots out of the playoff position on the table. Pretty good season for an expansion team. This is kind. Uh, I mean, it's it, I, I th- it started out real bad and gotten better. By the way, uh, shouts to Nikos P. Thanks for hanging out. Also, I just want to read this real quick. Well, before we continue, Elo Stack said, "I got a gun pulled on me at the taco spot in L.A. That's getting pressed. And yes, the tacos were worth it. One, <laughs> no, they weren't. And two, that is a few steps past pressed, my friend. <laughs> that is we." We move beyond pressed. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I, we've gotten to depressed, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's just a few steps beyond pressed. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yes, he has been let go. And when I, when I first saw this announcement, um, my first thought was, uh, you know, you know the the original, um, uh, you know the preseason. If you never, uh, if you never saw this, uh, oh, hey, when he said we're screwed, we're screwed, and this is this was in um, in regards to he was he was talking about the, the the building of the roster, and there were players that he couldn't sign, and they were just they, they were they just didn't have like really enough players or, or the players that he needed, uh, and uh, you can hear. Did he say it in Spanish or English? He said it in Spanish. He just. Uh, thought, but he's Argentinian, so what is the term oh, they use? Estamos yeah. cagao? What is it? Jodido. Jodido. He's estamos uh, jodido. Is he Argentinian? I don't know where he's from, actually. Oh, I um, thought he was Argentinian. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll confirm that in a second. But uh, you hear it there in the background. But he, um, a pretty good coach. A decent start to the season. He took that team and got them playing well. Yeah, we thought they Charlotte were not going to have uh, a good start to the season he's at all. He's from Spain. Yeah, see? Oh, but he's from, uh, he's from, uh, he's a Canario. He's from the Canary Islands. That's why he sounds like us. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That explains it. So, he, uh, what, Charlotte, where are Charlotte uh, on the table? They uh, were in the Eastern Conference. They are currently in eighth place. Yeah, one spot. They have two games in hand. Oh, no, not two games in hand. Sorry. Uh, they are two points away from uh, seventh place in Miami. This is a... For an expansion team, this is this is incredible. This is pretty they're, good. They're playing well enough. Yeah. I mean, FC Cincinnati would have traded four or five players to be able to play this way for the last <laughs> right. Few and years. for for your first season to not like give up uh, a whole gang of goals uh, is pretty impressive. There's got to be way more to this than they've given up. They've given up 18 goals, and they're not even and and that's better than teams that are above them. Oh wow, Arlo White left NBC. I did see that. Yeah, I didn't see that until now. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna. He, I, they said he's going to MLS. Back to MLS. What? Remember, Ar- Arlo used yeah. to be for NBC. He used to. Uh, I always remember him from like Sounders games. Not when the Sounders were like Atlanta United when, they, when yeah, Atlanta yeah, yeah, first yeah. arrived, and he was pretty much the voice of that. But Some of you in Europe may remember Arlo White. Right? He called the games in Europe for a while. He's now he was with uh, NBC for the Premier League matches, but now that's done. Okay, so uh, so what were your first? So, oh, so that's what I was saying. My first thought when I saw this was, yeah, he. We knew the comments he made in the preseason, and and you you, which you would assume kind of irritated the, the yeah, front office. Keeping it, it, it's one of those when keeping it too, you know, real goes wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it? Airing your dirty laundry. Yeah. You know so he I mean? was he was being a little too honest, which but it wasn't the worst thing in the world. It was just you know, being, you know, what my wife's uh, grandmother would say, uh, he thinks who he is. It makes no sense. <laughs> he thinks who he is. Uh-huh. Mm. Think about it. 
it doesn't make any it sense. Does, no, it doesn't. No. We I'm, immediately <laughs> know because it's an old Italian woman saying it, what she means. <laughs> <laughs> so when, um, so you, that, that was my initial thought. Like he probably said uh, a little too much publicly, but it really wasn't that bad. I mean, it, I get it. It was just a little too candid. But then. Yeah, it was a little too peek behind the curtain. But then, uh, so when I first saw the uh, announcement this morning, I was like, oh, wow, okay, this is this is a bit of a shock. Maybe there's something. Look, we're both stand-up comics. Yes, we are, you know, we vote in, like, the MLS end of year awards right. and things like that. We have a little bit of influence, I guess, you, if you want to say. We're, we're soccer influencers. We're, okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, buy this uh, energy drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> G Fuel. All right. Yeah. And honestly, if it wasn't for my tummy tea, bro, I would be three times as large. <laughs> so... Um, uh, so, but we're obviously not privy to a lot of information that a lot of the journalists know, right. but as soon as I started seeing journalists react to the news and I'm like, and they're oh, like, yo, what the hell's yo. going on? <laughs> they're like, yo, this- they're shocked. <laughs> Wait, you ain't heard nothing. Yo, it's a mess out in Charlotte, bro. <laughs> yeah. What? Somebody tell me what's going on. When, when, when journalists are tagging cooligans going, what do you guys know? <laughs> Cause we don't know nothing. <laughs> That's when you know something is wrong. Kind of like from a institutional level at Charlotte and clearly uh, the coach didn't uh, you know didn't see eye to eye with whatever maybe the sporting director maybe the owner the uh, Tepper David Tepper is yeah. the owner he owns um, the Carolina Panthers uh, and and the NBA team I think right the the Charlotte Hornets I think he owns he, I know for sure he runs the He's Carolina a billionaire. Panthers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but who, I don't Owns. know. Yeah, I don't know how much uh, influence he had in making this decision. Supposedly, he's the one that made the decision. Okay. And I think he, uh, they replaced him with a oh, guy we, who used to. This is the first time we're getting spam. Hey, look at that. You, you know what you should do? We should. Wet girls are here, bro. <laughs> don't read it. <laughs> <laughs> we should change the, the 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 chat to be only people who who subscribe. Can you do that? Yeah. I don't know if I can do it. After. That feels less fun. I uh, know. I mean, I mean, but is this fun? This this way. Yeah. Girl thing? <laughs> All right. I mean, block it. I, remove Wait, report. I I yeah, yeah. Okay. I got it. Hide Go user in the channel. You can do that. Okay. Um, so the um, what was I saying about um, about Charlotte? Oh yeah. So the owner of the team. I, I look. I don't know how much uh, influence they had making this decision, but when. This early into the season, you don't. Um, it, it's not a good look for, especially because the team is doing well. Look, something must have happened. I, I don't want to believe that this was just like a on a whim. The guy who gets the job now was an assistant under Patrick Vieira at NYCFC. Yeah, yeah. So it's cool uh, to see uh, uh, Atanzio, Christian yeah. Atanzio, right? Or Latanzio. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah, I remember seeing one of these. Uh, seeing him at <laughs> Yankee Stadium. <laughs> He's like, okay, so this is what you guys are going to do. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> he comes down a wife beater. <laughs> I'm sorry, a shirt and an A shirt. Um, which we'll call it. Uh, it's definitely the owners. Uh, I mean, it sucks that you're 14 games into your existence and already people are like, owner out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is not good. Especially after that first, uh, that first home game for Charlotte, which was incredible. They had like 70 something thousand people, 74, something like that. They, they sold out. The, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, you know, obviously we've we've been to Charlotte and and met a lot of soccer fans out there. It's a it's a dope, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, you know soccer community, and they're and they're and they're showing a lot of support to the team. Uh, even you know, we've seen a lot of like um, Charlotte fans who are very new to soccer that are like on Twitter, like what's the offside rule, and like yeah. literally doing that. But you know, we're, our friend Joe who lives down there got four season tickets. Right, right, and he's always texting us like, "What's this offside rule?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but people are you know holding their hand through the uh, kind of the the, the experience. And the, the, I, look, my first instinct is to say, like, clearly something really bad was going on. They couldn't see eye to eye, maybe uh, uh, even about, like, players that he wanted to sign. It, Miguel Angel Ramirez doesn't uh, – I, I think he's going to get a new job very quickly. Yeah, very quickly. In fact, people were saying, like uh – well, how did you beat? Um, you know, how did? How are you only fourteen games into the into your existence and already the worst run beat uh, Whitecaps <laughs> as the worst one, uh, run club in MLS? And I bet you the Whitecaps are like, he's available. <laughs> we'll take him. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, he could probably do twenty eight games here. <laughs> I, I think there's. Um you know the uh, like yeah like i said before i think he's gonna be fine it will we'll learn more and then in the coming days like what 
kind of led to this decision. A lot of the reporters, I'm sure, are already asking uh, those questions. But it's just it with, with um uh, uh I forget the 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 coach Coke or I mean, is the 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 guy from um FC Cincinnati. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrick Coke. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know how to pronounce his name, but he got fired eleven games into his season. Right. Uh, so it's not so unheard of. Yam Stapp also got fired. Yeah, Yap Stam. Yam Stapp. How did I? <laughs> <laughs> you said yam stop it. Yeah, yam, yeah. Stop. What is going on with my brain today, dude? <laughs> okay. I need more cafe. You bro. need to cry more, bro. Yo, you have all those tears. I can't, bro. <laughs> my brain won't do it. You know what? For the Patreon, maybe I'll cry on camera for the Patreon. Bro, <laughs> sure. How dope is that? If you want Alexis to cry on camera, <laughs> help, a, help us. I'm a good actor. I cried on cue on stage. I could cry. <laughs> I you, promise. Who are you trying to convince? Dog? <laughs> Myself, bro. Alexis just, I'm like, trying to convince Alexis Barrera. Alexis just yeah. saying this while he, as he stares into a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> just like... <laughs> um, so, the uh, yeah, so it's not unheard of to, to get rid of your coach early into a season, but not when they're doing well. Right. Okay, so we'll see what, what, what the reason is. Hopefully, 